From CBS not letting him out of his contract to realizing how unsafe the stunts were gonna be, here's the real reason Tom Selleck turned down Indiana Jones' role. It's hard to imagine someone other than Harrison Ford playing the role of the college professor turned adventurer, but Selleck almost did. Hard to believe, but here's how it went down. Back when George Lucas was looking for someone to play the archaeologist in his 1981's Raiders of the Lost Ark, he didn't immediately think of Ford. Not that Ford wasn't big in the industry. He was. But that was exactly the problem. He was already a part of the Star Wars films as Han Solo, and so was Lucas. The filmmaker didn't want the two of them to end up like Martin Scorsese and Robert De Niro. The pair has worked on 10 films together and are a badass duo, but George didn't exactly want to do the same with him and Ford, so he set off on the hunt for a new icon, and guess whose name came up? Tom Selleck's, which is impressive for someone who wasn't exactly Hollywood famous back then. Tom was just another face in the crowd, but he had the talent. He cleared the audition process and even landed himself a screen test with Sean Young. She was being considered for Marion Ravenwood, but that role went to Karen Allen later. Anyway, the directors loved Tom's screen test. They called him terrific and Tom was signed on. I'm talking official contract, all the signatures done, the entire thing. He really was Indiana Jones. So what went wrong? Well, CBS happened. Tom had a prior commitment to the network's crime drama series, Magnum P.I., but he didn't want to walk away from Indiana Jones because he earned the role. So he let the directors know that he was tied to the network for a series and asked them if it would be a conflict. Surprisingly, the directors had no problem with it, but you know who did? CBS. They weren't letting Tom go and kept pressuring him to turn down Raiders of the Lost Ark. Eventually, Steven Spielberg and Lucas had to step in. They tried talking to CBS to get them to back down, but they weren't ready to let Tom out of his contract. And in the end, with only three weeks to go before filming kicked off for one of the greatest franchises ever, Tom walked away from his role. With his lead actor gone, Lucas was once again on the hunt for a new face for his film, and guess who he thought of this time? Harrison Ford. It's funny when you think about it now, cause filming for the CBS pilot was delayed by six months. That meant Tom could have easily done both, but George had already found his replacement, which is a whole other story. Lucas didn't think Ford would agree to a three-movie deal and wasn't in the mood to ask him, but Stephen pushed him to try anyways, and what do you know? George handed him the script and then told him to show up at Stephen's house in an hour. Thankfully, Ford was impressed and agreed to the deal right then. Honestly, I'm glad they landed on Ford and so is he. The actor is busy soaking in the success of the latest film in the franchise, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. It's his last adventure, marking the end of an era. And while he has a lot of people to thank for this day, the fans, the directors, and his family, deep down Harrison knows that he owes it all to Tom. Had he not walked away from the role all those years ago, Ford wouldn't have been standing here. In fact, he thanked Selleck for his services during the press tour for Dial of Destiny. Now, as great as Harrison was as Indiana Jones, a part of me would have loved to see Tom in his shoes, purely out of curiosity. Luckily, someone released a deepfake of Selleck playing the role in July 2020, and it's amazing. The comment section for the video was swarmed with fans appreciating the actor. Some even finally understood why the directors picked him as the first choice of the movie. Tom's screen tests are also available online, and honestly, I can see the vision and so can the fans. They think in a parallel universe, Tom would have killed the role, but let's think about it realistically. Even if Tom did get the role, it would have been completely different from Harrison's version. The franchise is what it is today, thanks to Ford. Sure, both actors almost looked the same back then, with their rugged looks and abs, but it was Harrison's improvisation and personality that added flair to the character. There's no way Tom could have come up with the same lines. If he played Indiana, it would have shown his personality. His would have been more charming and traditional, without Ford's razor-sharp wit. Would that have influenced the franchise's popularity? Definitely! Like I said, Tom's a big reason behind the franchise's popularity. It's his undeniable charm that brought in the crowds. Fans on Reddit think the same, agreeing that Tom wouldn't have played Jones the same way, even predicting that it would have been a flop. 
Others were less kind with their words and straight up called Tom an awful choice. They couldn't believe their beloved George was capable of bad decisions. One fan said it was a happy ending for everyone, explaining how Ford's perfect for Indiana Jones and Selleck's perfect for Magnum PL. They also thought Donald Belisario and Tom Selleck were born to work together. Another appreciated Selleck in Quigley Down Under and saw the characters as similar, but they still didn't see Selleck doing the frantically looking for a way out style that Ford did. Others were hung up on why Lucas was so worried about ending up like De Niro and Martin. It's not like these two made bad movies or something. On that note, it's not just the franchise that would have had a different course. Both men would be looking at way different careers right now. Sure, Ford was already big thanks to his role as Han Solo in the Star Wars movies, but his co-stars from those films, like Carrie Fisher and Mark Hamill, didn't land roles in other mega-franchises. They weren't forgotten, but when you compare their careers with Ford's, it's not hard to tell who was more successful. That said, I'm willing to bet good money on the fact that a big reason why Harrison made it big in Hollywood was thanks to his role in Raiders of the Lost Ark. It showed his talent as a multidimensional actor to potential directors and filmmakers. It's why he landed Blade Runner and every other role that came after that. Tom Selleck would be playing a whole different ball game right about now as well, had CBS let him out of their contract. Don't get me wrong, the actor's not a deadbeat in the industry. The series that he stuck to over Indiana Jones, Magnum P.I. went on or eight seasons, and his role as a private investigator, Thomas Magnum, earned him an Emmy along with four other nominations. In 1985, he bagged a Golden Globe and the People's Choice Awards for his role in the series. But he's not exactly at the same level as Harrison. Had he played Indiana Jones, he would be at the same height as Ford right now, landing roles he could have never imagined. Still, despite walking away from the biggest role of his career, Tom did well for himself as the actor went on to make it big with the CBS drama, Blue Bloods. Guess his loyalty to the network paid off in the end. Selleck's been part of the show since 2010, gracing our screen as the police commissioner, Frank Reagan. The series stands at 275 episodes as of May 19, 2023, and not a lot of shows have hit that mark, and Tom couldn't be prouder. The role also made him a whole lot richer, with an impressive net worth of $45 million right now. On top of Blue Blood, Selleck's also made a name for himself as the criminal investigator Jesse Stone in the Jesse Stone films, and he's even bagged an Emmy nomination for his iconic role. Now, as successful as Tom is, I gotta ask, does he have any regrets? And well, he doesn't. The actor's thankful for the opportunity to play the iconic investigator, calling it the best thing that's ever happened to him. When the directors of Lost Ark told him he'd have to get into a car and drive it into a brick wall and maybe get injured, Selleck wasn't exactly thrilled. He wanted to look his mom and dad in the eyes and make sure that he was staying as safe as possible, too. So he's proud he lived up to his contract. In fact, he doesn't even view it as the role that got away. So, from not having any regrets about walking away from the biggest role of his career to choosing safety over everything else, that was the real reason Tom Selleck turned down Indiana Jones' role.